everybody, Janice here, Caribbean Garden Life. Now, I don't know about you, but the one thing that I have noticed since I've really got into this gardening game is um, probably how much money I've spent. Um, today really is no exception. Um, living, on a, living on a small Caribbean island, items and things you want sometimes are limited, um, very limited, and the, the, the availability is limited, so you learn to make do. So over the, over the past couple of years, things I've made do with fishing on plastic up seed, seedlings is like using um, plastic cups, water, you know, drink plastic cups for, um, for seedlings and stuff like that and using uh, plastic trays for, for tray holders. But what you can see is that the UV light here and the sun and everything like that isn't very kind. So eventually what happens, I started happening is that the stuff is breaking. Look at that, it just snaps. So I was picking up a tray of seedlings and everything would just snap. And then sometimes you look at the, now we've gone um, all biodegradable with this stuff, which is great, great for planets. When I'm using my water cups, what's also been happening is that when I'm having in water, they get all deformed. You can see they get a little bit deformed, so they start leaning. So they don't have no long, they don't have longevity. That's basically what they have longevity. So one of the things I've also learned is once I give myself time, well, my husband always tells me is to buy once, buy once. So uh, wherever possible, I've had time allowing or I've planned for it. I've done just that. And one of my favourite places to go shopping is Bootstrap Farmer. Now, I first came across Bootstrap Farmer by um, watching Epic Gardening. So again, down the YouTube, down the YouTube channel, watching Epic Gardening, and he had some fabulously multi-coloured grow bags and I'll drop a picture so you can see them and that and I was like on the hunt how do you get those grow bags they're different colours they're not the normal black or brown that you would get and I wanted some difference in the garden some colour some variety so I went on the hunt for um, these grow bags and they led me to Bootstrap Farmer so when I want something and I have planned for it that is the place I kind of check out first because I really like the quality and the fact um, that they do something different. So, as I've showed you my grow, my grow pots and stuff like that trays, I need to replace the trays. So where did I go? Of course, Bootstrap Farmer. Um, they're not sponsoring this or anything. This is me actually going out and do it myself. So, um, so I have my order. Um, so I'm going to unbox my order because I'm really excited about it. And I bought some trays and some seedling pots and. Um, let me just put this out of the way. So just away. Let me just put this down here. So I bought some trays and some seeds and seedling pots. And um, I picked them up yesterday and I thought, oh, this would be a great time to do an unboxing. Now the first thing I want to say is that it is really well really well packaged. And you probably if you can see closely, you probably think, well, listen, hasn't already been opened, Janice. Well, actually, yes. Because again, one of the things we do out here is that not everything comes direct or not everybody ships direct to the, Cari to the Caribbean. And when it does, it can take an inordinate amount of time and it's actually it can be quite expensive. So we have a US shipping address, US postal address. So everything gets posted there first. That's our, so there's no quibbles about you know um, shipping costs and stuff like that. And then it's either flown or shipped depending on the weight of what you select here so i had this float i had this flown over um and it was about 10 pounds in weight and let me think it's probably not 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 bad so i'm gonna open and see what happens but oh yes i'm saying when it gets the shipping address what then happens is it's opened by the um, it's opened by the shipping company the shipping company so they open it and check it to say that it doesn't have any contraband basically it contains what it say, says it does and then it gets put on the plane or, or the boat and sent to us now depending on the time of year if, if you're first over you're curious depending on the time of year or um, the date the time it gets there it can take um, it can take a couple of it can take a couple of weeks or it can take longer again maybe it's busy at Christmas it gets really busy because sometimes your packages get bumped now I ordered this on the 16th of January and it was here in Antigua by the 26th, so 10 days. So that really isn't bad, you know, um, it got, it was sent out from Boot, Bootstrap Farmer very quickly and it was on the next available, pretty much the next available flight when it got here. So I'm going to open it, let's have a look, let's have a look to see what it's got. Okay. 
in. Okay. Lift what's in here. And as I said, I ordered seedling pots and trays. Ah, look at this. She's a happy bunny. She's a happy bunny. The paper I'm going to use, by the way, the brown paper, I'm going to, I'm going to rip it up, scrap it and put it in the composter. So nothing goes to waste. And probably the same with the box as well, once I've chopped it up. These. Look at these. These are seedlings. So look at the and you know it's the color. It was the color for me. Um, I've got green. I've got multicolored packs. So I've got green. I've got pink. Pink is my favorite color. Orange, blue, and purple. And the one thing I can do with this as well, depending on what I'm planting, is that I can um, use the colors as almost as labels. If I'm planting one particular thing, instead of using plant labels, once I remember, I can just say, well, look. In blue, I've planted tomatoes. In orange, I've planted peppers, whatever I choose to do. So that's the pots, and I bought 80 of those. Um, and these will last a lifetime, because as I said, the challenge I had with using the temporary things is that I'll probably get one season out of it. Um, if I'm lucky, they split or they get deformed, and then they're no longer fit for purpose. So those are my pots, and put those here. And I bought 80 of those. And I showed you the tray I was using because I was wanting to get the pots, you need to put the tray, the seedling trays in. So I bought these seedling trays and everybody keeps telling me how sturdy they are. So, oh yeah, these are much, yeah, these look like they'll stand, them. these look like they'll stand the test of time. So I bought them with no drainage, with no drainage because obviously I'm going to put the pots in them. So I, they've got a little bit of drainage so it doesn't get, the roots don't get uh, soaked. But I want the drain, obviously didn't want the drainage going through. What I'm going to do um, to hold these up is I'm actually going to make, um, yeah, here MacGyver comes in again. I'm going to make out of UV piping um, a holder, a seedling rack. So I may do a video on that. You'll probably will see a video on that. I'm not sure how much I'll show of it because I'm going to be working it out as I go along. Um, so I have some old PVC pipe here that was just from the build of quite a while, quite a while back. I bought some, um, some tea some tea fittings tea slip teas um, i've done a bit of research on on youtube and i've gonna have designed what i think will be a, a holder to hold these in so i will show you that in another video but that's it i'm really really pleased with my purchase i bought five trays i think that's ample i think these are going to last a lot longer as i said the white trays i bought i bought locally weren't uv resistant and they've lasted don't get me wrong they've lasted about a year last about a year but again um, I'm gonna have to replace my pick them up and everything drops out so that's it that is my unboxing from bootstrap farmer um, go along I'll leave their link in the car I'll leave the link in the comments and go on I'll have a quick shifty um, yeah there's some great stuff there's some great stuff in there uh, and like I said buy once buy once so that's me signing off oh, oh if you like what you heard don't forget to review rate subscribe push the button whatever it is ting the bell and uh, till the next video until next time take care and happy gardening